So, I hope you can hear me over the freeway, but I just wanted to share something with you that I've been thinking about. Hebrews chapter 12 says, let us run the race that is set before us. That's something that we all need to consider, we all need to think about. God has a race that is set before us that's not set before anybody else. We all have different abilities, different talents. We all are in different geographical locations. So each one of us, God calls to our own race. And we often forget that. It's so easy, even for myself, I find, to be tempted to try to run somebody else's race. I mean, you know, maybe we hear about someone with another, a job and we go, boy, that'd be a great job. I'd like to have that job. Or maybe we know someone's going on vacation or they're going on to serve in a mission field or whatever they're doing. And you think to yourself, man, I should do that. I need to do that. And that's not what we should be thinking because God's calling them to do their race and we have our own race to run. We have what God wants us to do. One of the, the, the how should I say this, the consequences of this thought really affects young people a lot because young people will become really close friends with some, especially in the teenage years, and they kind of do each other the same thing. I mean, one follows the other, and maybe one's a leader, maybe, maybe they switch back and forth, but they're trying to run the same race. One may, God may be calling to be an engineer, and the other may be uh, a beautician or something. And so they're, they're in school, but they're not really accomplishing what they should be doing because they're, they're doing the same thing. They're just going down the same path instead of saying, look, I have to study hard because I'm going to be an engineer. And the other one says, well, I have to you know, I have to learn how to be a beautician. And so instead, they're kind of just goofing off together. But adults do the same thing. We kind of click and hang out with one another instead of really just saying, what is the race that God has set before us? Now, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3, Paul said, why do you judge me? I don't judge myself. Now, Christians are, and the lost people are always saying, oh, we're not supposed to judge. And they may use a verse like this, but Paul also says that we are supposed to judge. Jesus said we're supposed to judge. If we have a, a if our brother offended us, we judge that as wrong. We take, go, go to him. We, if he doesn't agree with us, we take somebody else. That they, they don't agree with the, both of you, then you go to the church. So there, we are supposed to judge moral things, right and wrong about moral things. Especially you have the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not lie. If you were caught lying, judge it is wrong. But what Paul's talking about there is essentially like each one, his race and our race. Each one of us has a race. And we're not allowed to judge how well, how successful each other is at running that race. Because see, we really don't know what God wants the other person to be doing. So there's no way in the world we can judge how another person is running their race. We can judge if, um, we can't, I thought there was a snake on the ground. It was a piece of, old piece of, um, a bungee cord. Anyway, uh, so we can't judge how each other are running the race. That's up to God. In the end, at the judgment seat of Christ, uh, we will receive either, um, we will, our works will be burnt up that are not the ones God wanted us to do or they'll be rewarded. And, and Paul said, I can't even judge myself. And that's true for me. You know, I may think I'm doing really good. Have you ever taken a test and thought that on that test you did well, but then you get the, the test back and you're like, oh no, I, I didn't pass. And then the opposite's true. Maybe you took a test and didn't feel so good about it. You get it back and you got a really good score. That's kind of how it is with our walk with Christ. We gotta do the best we know how at running our race. You gotta run your race, not somebody else's race. Don't let what they're doing influence what you're supposed to do. And when we get to the end, hopefully we'll hear Jesus said, well done thou good and faithful servant. 
So that's just an encouragement I want you to think about so you're not tempted to get off track and to start looking around you what other people are doing, but you're just going to focus on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.